Hi everyone. Okay, um, welcome. I am trying something, um, well, trying something this morning. Um, I've never had much uh, luck with uh, the Dutch pour. You know, the one where the paints are really, really very thin. Um, and well, the sort of um, proper Dutch pour uses just water to uh, dilute the uh, dilute the paints. So I really can't call, call this a Dutch pour. So um, just a blowout pour. I'm going to be using a blow dryer um, to blow this paint, but it will be on the uh, cold, of course, but a high setting. And I'm pretty sure this is going to splatter a fair bit because of that. Um, but I need it because my paints, like I said, are really, really thick for this. I'm just using my, um, well, not really thick, but I'm using my um, more uh, regular, uh, regular consistency rather than a uh, proper, proper <laughs> blowout pour um, consistency. And I'm going to go with uh, blues and uh, purples again today. Uh, same ones I used for the challenge pour. But instead of the reddish gold, I think I have a really nice pink I've mixed, well, ages ago, that I was gonna just add to this. My pots are almost welded shut because I made such a mess with the last pour that there was a lot of paint on the, on the edges. I should probably wipe these down first. Right, and I'll link the video uh, just above, uh, or in the description rather, where where I explain all the different paint mixes. So if you're interested, have a look at that. Uh, okay, I have some leftovers. What's that one? Some more purple now. Yeah, so what I did before um, I put the recording on, um, I just put... Um, a titanium white base on there. Um, okay, that is a really, really old, gone way too thick paint. I'm not going to be using that. Yeah, so just a uh, um, titanium white base that I tested being able to blow with a blow dryer. I can do it on a high setting, but like I said, it seemed to splatter a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And these are, um, yeah, not mixed with just water, but um, PM pouring medium and water to consistency. Okay, what else do I want there? I've got a purple there now. Let's put in a, this is that um, sort of light-ish um, blue with the um, pearl medium. Pearl Medium made it a really nice light colour. And yeah, it's just a two. It's a uh, Amsterdam Ultramarine. And the, um, what's it? The, um, oh good grief, it's too early in the morning, I can't think. Uh, the uh, Pearl Medium, okay. And this is another one with a, the same Pearl Medium. It's a Dioxidine Purple. I love that colour. It is such a beautiful, rich, rich purple. And as a bonus, it's um, it's a single pigment one. So you can't go too wrong with that because you won't get any untoward surprises with it. Mixing, mixing lots of uh, colours with lots of different pigments in them already. Right, and I have this pink here. But it's, it's gone really thick, so I'm just going to squirt a little tiny bit of um, water, if I can find it. There we go. Just to thin it a tiny little bit. I don't need it to be quite that thick, because that's just not going to move anywhere at all otherwise. I was kind of tempted to put in a... Um, what do you call it? A um, cell activator in the middle, but I'm not gonna, not this time. Okay, so just a little bit of the pink there. Uh, there we go, just to give it 
a nice accent. Just drizzle it around just a tad, just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I'm probably gonna um, sort of uh, turn down the volume of this uh, video now because this is going to make a lot of sound having the uh, blow dryer on the high setting. Um, so I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, so um, I'm not happy with the composition um, just here. And also I blew out all my pink in there. <laughs> it's all in that one corner. Um, yes, it did splatter. Uh, that wall there is covered in paint, but never mind. We can, I can get to that later. But I do like the cells that are growing just here. So, what I'm thinking, yeah, and I wanted a lot more, a lot more negative space here anyway. So I'm going to go again. Um, just bear with me and uh, I'll be back once I've scraped this and started all. Okay, so back to it. Try number two. So because I really liked what was happening with the pink, that blue to that corner there and then I blew it off the canvas almost entirely. There were some really, really nice cells happening there. There were some nice cells happening there. Um, yeah, and that's purely from the paints uh, interacting with each other. I haven't added silicone oil to, or any other additive to any of these paints. So I want to try and recreate that. And in hindsight, the design I was doing um, needed either a lot less paint or a much bigger canvas because I really wanted the um, wanted the uh, um, negative space to be significant. So this time I'm just doing a blowout that way. Okay, and I will speak to you again shortly. Welcome back again. Okay, I like what's happening here. Um, I'm getting some really cute cells happening just there. Um, I'm just gonna, I wonder if I wanna remove that splatter there. I think I do. So I'm just gonna um, mess around with that for a while. Um, but yeah, I think there's some really, really beautiful cells happening. Um, so the much thicker paint, um, mixed with uh, my regular pouring mediums, medium and uh, uh, things to consistency with water. This is just what I would use for just about every pour that doesn't require any, um, I don't know, special, special consistency. 
and the blow dryer on high it does work um yeah it's probably a lot harder <laughs> to control than it needs to be and also it does splatter everywhere paint has gone absolutely everywhere but that's okay that's in my opinion part of the fun so yeah and there's a fair bit of paint on this canvas but because it's um you know i know the consistencies uh are about the same for each of these paints and also i'm going to put this now straight away in an environment where there's no airflow at all i'm going to make sure it dries real slow so i i'm pretty sure i'll be fine so yeah i'll just bring you in for a close-up and uh, let you see some of the details okay so here we go that's what it looks like I love it. I think I'm actually really, really happy with it now. Uh, yeah. There's some really, really, really cute cells going on. And I love, absolutely love that wispy effect going across there. But check out some of these cells. And the shimmer. By the way, I have my flash on so you can see the um, shimmer from the um, um, pearl medium mixed colors um they tend to be quite dull when they're wet and then you know they pop out again once it's dry and you varnish the piece but i love that what do you think let me know in the comments and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you next time thanks a lot bye